the basic premise is, is don't think about this as a single like checkbox. Like one person gets one of these and you're like, oh, you don't have psychosis. Think about them as being like, if there are a bunch of these, you start to think, mm, what's going on? So um, one would be, go, we're going back to the, the ED and I am hearing voices. What are you going to ask me about the voices? Let's get specific. Okay, or I actually like, what do they say? Because it's even more open. Okay, so one, if I say, I don't know, I can't, I, I, I don't remember, that's probably two. Once I say, oh, they're, they're, they're just having a conversation, it's really weird, they're, they're talking about Tesla. Uh, I don't understand why. Then you need to start asking me specific questions. It's like a pain evaluation or any other presenting complaint. Okay, how often? How often do you hear the voices? Go ahead, drill me on it. Uh, I don't know, like every couple of days? No. Okay, I get what you're going for, but but it's more like it would it would more be like so. Yeah. Are they so you can say stuff like are they is it a male voice or a female voice? Do you know the person or do you not? Are the voices coming from inside your head or outside your head? People who are lying, when you start to get to details, they flounder. People who are telling you about psychosis can tell you those details. They may have some problems with thought blocking and not be able to get it out right, but you can tell the difference. Um, all right. Other things, so um, it's very rare that people will have hallucinations without delusions. Delusions are so common. And sometimes people won't tell you their delusions. I had a guy yesterday who wouldn't give me any specifics. Um, but um, that should kind of trigger some suspicion. Um, the other <laughs> conduct not consistent with delusions. So if I'm like, man, the CIA is after me. Would you mind, could, do you have any dessert here in the ER? Like, I'm a little bit hungry. Would you mind bringing me a bag of potato chips too? Is that the kind of like style and behavior of someone who's terrified the CIA is about to kill him? No. So think about the way that the behavior is also connected to the delusion and if it's consistent. Um, symptom inconsistent, inconsistency is what I was talking about. If you start to drill people on specifics, they'll get confused and they'll tell you different things. Um, and then inability to identify alleviating or exact, exact, exacerbating big factors. Again, most people will tell you like, yeah, I put on headphones and it helps. Or um, it feels a lot worse when, when like, there are a lot of people around or I'm feeling really anxious. All right, um, you can look at this later. 